biggest reader in middle school. I just kind of read books or battle the books just to go to the competition. Um, but I would say if you don't like reading, just find something that you're interested in and pick up a book about that. And I think you'll like reading a lot better. I've always liked reading, not just in middle school, but in elementary school and even before that. So middle school really didn't change that. I still like reading, actually, considering my pile of books next to me. I was not an avid reader in middle school. I was, I'd say, I was quite a picky reader, kind of a picky eater at the same time. Up until, I'd say, maybe 8th grade, ninth grade, I just read when, and just, like, was for school. I really enjoyed reading in middle school, and I often found that I didn't have as much time to do it as I would have liked uh, as I got busier with my activities because I enjoyed it so much. I did. I read all the time. Um, I was in Honors English, so we did a lot of reading um, throughout that class, and I think that helped me get into it. Um, yeah, I'd say I did. Uh, I read a lot of the same stories, though. I read a lot of fantasy, like high fantasy books to just kind of get away. <laughs> in middle school, I wasn't the biggest fan of reading, I'm not gonna lie. I just thought it wasn't really my biggest interest and it kind of affected me in my classes because I wasn't the best reader, so um, yeah. it's always been mystery books. There's so many books in the world that no matter how much you think you hate reading, there has to be at least one that you'll enjoy. Um, I read a lot of like mystery, um, kind of like whodunit type books. Um, it, made, it really just got me thinking about stuff and um, I really enjoyed reading those. Um, some books that I like to read in middle school uh, I absolutely love the Inheritance Game series and the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. I loved all those mystery romance novels. Um, well, I did Battle of the Books, where I got to read a bunch of different book genres, so that was fun. It introduced me to a lot of different types of books. Um, but I would say it wasn't until COVID year, like end of eighth grade, where I found the Twilight series that I really loved reading. Um, in middle school, I read a lot of historical fiction, uh, mostly World War II books, and a lot of them came from Alan Gratz. Um, but I also really enjoyed the Warrior series um, about all the cats that live outside. <laughs> I found most of the books I read uh, through the Iowa Children's Choice Award books, because um, I did Battle of the Books for several years. And I really enjoyed that program because it gave me a chance to read genres and authors that I wouldn't have chosen on my own. And that helped me really discover what I actually like as a reader. And I learned that I really enjoy fantasy and sci-fi books. And that makes up a lot of what I read now as a high schooler. When I was a middle schooler, during that time, I was pretty big into reading Beatles biographies. Um, and I was really getting into Lord of the Rings during the times in Tolkien. So I was reading The Hobbit and that entire Lord of the Rings trilogy at the time. Um, in middle school, I liked Scythe. That was in Battle of the Books that year. And it was really good. I really enjoyed that one. Um, I really liked The School for Good and Evil um, and The Hunger Games. Uh, Rick Riordan. I read the Percy Jackson series quite a lot. That was my go-to. Um, another one was T uh, T U I T Sutherland. She wrote the Wings of Fire books, and I still get the new books as they come out because it's like childhood memories and whatnot. It's a high fantasy book where it's in a world where that is dragons' perspectives and that in humans are not really a main factor in it. I enjoyed reading the Divergent series, which I figured out that they added a prequel to, which I liked. The books are definitely better than the movies on those, so... I also read the Hunger Games series. The movies are pretty accurate.
and the prequel movies coming out next month. And since I enjoyed the books, I'm really hoping that the movie's good and accurate as well. Some books I read in middle school was Ready Player One. I really liked that book. And I also read the Harry Potter series, which was also very good. I like to pick books by getting suggestions from people with similar interests or just from browsing online or even in the library or in a bookstore. In high school, I joined Book Club, which is one way to get suggestions from other readers. And in the past, I did Battle of the Books, which is a fun program for people who want to read books that might be outside of their comfort zone or of what they typically read. I generally just go to like the public library or even the school library and I just roam around the young adult section and just pick random books and read the back of it. So the way I pick out books is I go to whatever section I'm interested in or sometimes I go to the Iowa Children's Choice Awards or the Iowa Teen Choice Awards section and I look at them and I ironically judge books by their covers or the spine whether they seem interesting or not if it doesn't look that interesting or it seems like something I wouldn't enjoy reading. I don't read the inside of it because I know I probably won't enjoy it. Um, the way I found books to read was one, I looked at like Miss Temperley's currently reading tab and I found Scythe, which I also really loved in middle school. I also read the whole series. Um, honestly, I find books to read through TikTok. <laughs> like if I see a, like a good video about a book, I'll check it out and read it. <laughs> uh, my mom is a big source. She really likes to read. My sister as well. Um, they have a lot of good interest in books and know what is best for me to read. Uh, my favorite book right now is It's Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. I'm more of a nonfiction type of reader, so stuff more about life and life lessons. It's just about um, what he's been through with um, his father being abusive and how he was obese and how he went to the military uh, and just really came over a lot of life lessons. So I do hear like the typical online like TikToks and whatnot is like book talk books and like I do like a lot of them. However, I like I like the summary of a lot of them. However, a lot of my like recommendations comes from me looking around the library and looking at like sections I know I like and then reading the back, maybe a couple pages in between. So if I'm looking for a book and I'm like in a bookstore, I usually read the description, but I don't just do that. I also like read the first few pages and like if I decide that I like how it's written or like the vibe that's giving off, then I'll choose it. But I always kind of read a few pages in before I decide anything. Um, I feel like reading is kind of like just like a hobby. It's like something you or a passion, something you make time for. It's something that makes you feel happy when you find the right book and then you want to keep reading it and reading it and you just get all this like creative ideas and I do kind of wish that I expanded into more different books so that I could try and figure out more about myself rather than just sticking with what I knew. I'd say it really is a life skill. It's not just a hobby. I mean, it can be, but it's something that's really going to help you in the long run. I feel like being a reader growing up has really helped me in a lot of ways and even just like expanded my vocabulary and helped me a lot in um, my classes in high school. I think one of the main lessons I've been able to pick up over time is like being able to experience somehow that there's always something more to learn within literature. Um, just reading builds really good habits, I think, in almost everything you do. Um, you know, obviously, a uh, more fluid reader. Um, it helped me with my time management, you know. Um, you yeah, know, I'm obviously reading, and then um, it kind of helped with my other homework, if that makes sense. You, if you want to be successful in high school and college, you have to start with 
um, the little habits of just, just simply reading probably 10 to 20 minutes a day. I wish I had like explored more of the books that I liked because I often like just read what all my friends were reading or like was popular at the time. So I would just read a book and be like, oh, you know, it was okay. But um, I wish I had just found my own interests in books and just read those. I probably would have liked reading a lot better. Something reading has helped me with is definitely creativity because I'm not a very artistic person. So my creativity shows in other ways, as in my ideas, and some of which I get those from books, which definitely helps and is something I wish I'd known a little bit better in middle school. I wish that I had realized in middle school that reading is very relaxing and a really good form of stress management, and it's even a way to escape to a different world for a while. I also learned that reading is really important in high school, especially in upper level and AP classes, where a lot of the learning relies on you independently reading a textbook and being able to engage with that information and retain it, and it is so much easier to do that if you've had a lot of practice reading on your own and then you can walk into an AP, AP test feeling confident and you can ace the exam and you can get college credit and that's a really, really great feeling. If you're a middle schooler and you don't enjoy reading, I think that it's important to understand that reading will make you feel so much better than spending time on whatever your choice social media is, whether that's Instagram or TikTok or something else. You will feel so much more accomplished after finishing a book and you will experience so much more emotional connection uh, after finishing a book than you will after finishing an hour of two or scrolling. Um, something I understand now about the importance of reading that I wish I knew in middle school is reading can take you places. It can make you feel like you're in a different world. And also it can make you connections with people you thought you never would have. And something I understood about the importance of reading is that it expands your vocabulary. And if you use that in like a paper, your teacher will like your paper more and probably give you a better grade. But reading will be really important throughout your whole life, no matter what job you have or where you end up. So I think you might as well learn to enjoy it. I do think that there's a book for everyone. You just have to find a genre or topic that interests you.